Hey, it is your favorite software instructor here. I had a question. Somebody wants to create a pivot table, and instead of doing the sum or the average, they want to use the median. And if you're wondering why would they want to use the median, so for their data, here's the average of these numbers. There you go. And then here's the median for those numbers. That's a huge difference. So here we go. Just to show you this, you cannot do a pivot table with the median. So let me test it real quick. Insert, pivot table, hit OK. I got a new worksheet. I'm going to check clients. I only had two clients. There's my data again, by the way. There's my clients. There's my earnings. I'm going to check earnings. It gave me the sum. I can go change to average with no problem. But what I can't do, if you look through here, there is no median listed in this list. So you can't do the median function with a pivot table. So let me right click and delete this. So I'm back to just my data sheet here. So let's go see real quick um, what the average is for ABC. So there is an average if function. I'm going to highlight this range comma, I'm going to put in ABC in quotations. It is not case sensitive. What range do you want to average? If you recall, I had 35 just a second ago and I still have 35. The issue is there is no median if function. So if I want to know the, the median for ABC, it's that number, comma, and these numbers. 35 is the average, 45 is the median. The difference is over 28%. That's why this is such a big deal. This one's even more. Just so you know this, in case you're wondering what the median function does, it'll take your numbers, and if it's an odd number, so right here I have a total of seven numbers. If you look down in the bottom right, it says count. And even though I've got these sorted already, it'll internally sort them and figure out the middle number. Now, if by chance you have an odd number and you do the median, it will average the two middle numbers. So I should get 15 here, and I do. So odd number, you'll get the middle number. Even group of numbers, it'll average the two to give you the median. So here's the only way around this. So the, the question still is, how do you make a pivot table and show the median? So I'm going to add a helper column in here. And if you recall, there was an average if, but there was no median if. So I'm going to say equals median if this range right here equals B2, because that's the first cell that I selected. Comma, I'm going to take those numbers. And to do this, I can already tell you, this is an array function. So if you press Enter, you'll get the wrong answer. I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to hit Yes. That 25 is incorrect, because if you recall, I just got 45 right here. So you edit the function. Control shift enters how you put in an array function and I'm going to auto fill this down So I need to go make that absolute reference absolute 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 Control shift enter again That's one of the issues with array functions is people forget to do control shift enter you cannot put it in with the mouse It's got to be the keyboard it always has these braces at the end of it, crosshairs, pull down. I should get 45 every time for ABC and 2.5, because remember I said if there's an even number, it'll pick it up. Let's just tweak this real quick. I'm going to make it 6 and 12. There you go. So now I've got a helper column in here with that function. So now let's go make the pivot table. Insert pivot table. Check clients and just check helper one. Click right here where it says helper one because it's summing them. 
Go make it the average. Perfect, perfect. And then you could rename this. There you go. So that is a pivot table with the median function, but I had to do this helper column over here. So we learned how to do average and median. We learned how to do average if. There is no median if, and then I showed you how to create a pivot table using the helper column that I created. And you learned an array function right here. Not too bad for six minutes. Hope you have a great week. Thank you.